Alrighty, everybody. Here we go. We are going to start a new game for Wednesday. Now, if you if you've seen uh, what else we're playing on the split screen right now, you might notice uh, that we're playing a game that actually plays a lot like this, and I didn't want to play this game and that game at the same time, but I messed up. And all the other games I had prepared uh, crash my computer or don't work. So, screw it. We're going to start playing this game. Uh, I accidentally played the next version of this uh, like an hour ago. But um, that's not this game. And I want to play this type of game specifically because it's fun. We're not going to watch that. What we're going to do is we're going to just get right into here. And we're going to... Oh, watch this. Okay. I need a cookie while we wait. Flying boats. Let the spirits guide me. Oh, this has voice acting. That's nice. I don't have to read it. Don't forget your heart. Check out this sweet medieval city where they have airships and stuff. Oh, I love your hand. Let me touch it. Oh, I love it when you touch my hand. Sword. All right. Ready? No. Let's go, Lloyd. Oh, fuck, Lloyd. He's such a douche. Karg, you can do it. All right. Let's begin. See, he has another sword. Just use the other one. Karg. Karg. The first battle. <sighs> the first old battle. Battle. Oh, so good. Oh no, there isn't that voice acting shit. Paulette says, that was fantastic, Karg. Really great. Yeah, what kind of person is so happy to see their father lose? But you certainly took me by surprise. <laughs> you improved so much. Uh, and almost without me noticing. Haha, <laughs> you don't think that you're just getting slower, old man? You should be t retiring as commander of the Def Defense Corps soon, shouldn't you? Oh, yes. As soon as you're ready to protect this country. I'll be glad to hand it over. That's why I've been teaching you to handle a sword all these years. Haha. <laughs> That's what you tell him. But you started practicing ever har even harder ever since you knew you were challenging Karg. As if you were trying to make sure you wouldn't lose. Paulette, 
you must address him as Lord Cog. It doesn't matter that you've been friends since you were both young. I'm always telling you not to be so too familiar. I'm pretty familiar with her. <laughs> Don't worry about that. The monarchy was abolished ages ago. Well, it's years older than me anyway. It doesn't matter whether the monarchy exists or not. Our responsibility to protect the royal family of uh, Nidilia doesn't change. I hope you've been practicing like I told you. Father, of course I've been practicing. You're not as skilled as Lord Karg, even though it's your duty to protect him. That won't do. Okay, okay. Here's your stupid fucking sword, Dad. Commander, could I have a minute? It's this, guy, this guy's name is Banjo. Someone's been troubling Banjo. What's up, Banjo? I wonder what's happened. Let's go and find out. We're young. We can do that. Let's go in your house. What's in your house? Oh my. I, the wind. A new era. Your house is saying weird shit again. I can't handle this. Did you just hear someone talking? Yes, but I couldn't make out what he was saying. Maybe it was Lady Naf Nafia. Oh well. Maybe Mother's in her room. Come on. I'll wait here. There's no way I can go inside Lady Nafia's bedroom. Very well. It's pretty easy. You just walk in. Anything in here? No. What's going on here? Okay. Just me getting... Eh, eh. Well, we've got a problem here. Uh, my... <laughs> down is not... on this controller. Hold on a second. <laughs> Config. Uh, multi-tap. Plug-in controller. How do I play with my controller settings here? Emulation settings, plug-in, video, audio, controllers, plug-in settings. Pad 1. Left D-pad down, yeah. D-pad, left analog stick down. Okay. I think he was saying that the other ones are not attached properly, so we're gonna do that. Detached. Okay, so let's try that. I know you can see the mouse. Don't worry, I'm not emulating this game. I don't know what you're talking about. There we go! <laughs> Let's go out this door. What's going on? This is probably my room. I should buy some posters or something. I don't know. Somebody just sleeps out in the living room. That seems like a bad idea. <gasps> it's a glowy thing! I must have it. Hmm, no one's here. No, not here either. Huh? What's that shining? Eh, eh. There we go. Hello? What's this? A stone? Huh? I am the spirit of the wind. You don't look very wind-like to me, sir. Spirit! Oh my god. For aeons. Countless aeons. A new... An age of union. Listen carefully. To my voice.
Hawkeye. What was that? A spirit, huh? Yes, they were in stories Mother used to tell me. Long, long ago. I have to read this. People right. lived in peace with the spirits. But a divine ruler with an evil heart appeared, and he used the power of science to try to rule the world. Not science. However, many brave people stood up against this ruler. Following the power of the spirits, they defeated the evil ruler, and they sealed his body inside an ark. Do you know what an ark is? It's like a box that holds mysterious power. Wow. Wow. So the bad guys always lose, right? No. Well, the divine ruler came back to life thousands of years later to take his revenge for being in prison for so long. Really? Then what happened? Coming back to life and escaping from the ark, the divine ruler had taken a very strange form, one never seen before on this earth. And then he tried to destroy the world. However, there appeared a great hero and a holy mother who carried on the will of all those brave souls of the past. And they stood up to fight this evil divine ruler. It was a long and fierce battle, but in the end, they defeated the divine ruler and sealed him in the ark once more. However, as a result of all this, the world was badly scarred and the spirits disappeared from the face of the earth. But something else appeared in their place. Beings called Deimos. Humans and Deimos loathed each other, and this led to fierce confrontation. In time, the world was divided in two, with humans living in one half, and Deimos in the other. And eventually, it became strictly forbidden for humans and Deimos to associate with one another. Well, that, that, that there's just racism. Oh, I remember that story. Funny how I remember that. But I wonder, was there really a spirit just now? Why would it suddenly appear to me? I can't take the box. Ain't nobody here. Did you find Lady Nathan? No, she must have gone out. Sometimes she goes off on her own somewhere. So that voice just now was just our imagination? No, that was... That was a spirit. What? The spirit of the wind. Spirit like one... Like like the ones in folk tales and legends? Yeah. Are you alright, Karg? You sure you didn't see it in a dream? There haven't been any spirits around for years and years. Yeah. And in any case... No one used to show themselves to chosen people. Really? I guess it must have just been an illusion. But... I'm more concerned at what Banjo was uh, wanted earlier. What was that all about? Let's go and ask him. Just kind of went off the beaten path there a little bit. What's up, brah? Oh, Lord Carp! I was just telling Commander Lloyd, a short while ago I saw a suspicious old man in the scrap plateau. Suspicious? Yes. He wasn't from this country. He was muttering to himself and seemed to be wandering around looking for something. He was pretty creepy, so I didn't speak to him, but it's been worrying me. Can't imagine there's anything around here that he could be looking for. Well, I'll go and take a look. One old man's not something to get the whole defense corps out for. Hmm. Very well. We'll check it out. Thank you. It's not much, but maybe this money will help you prepare a card. Yeah, 200 bucks from Lloyd. What nice dude. Paulette, you go too. But don't get in Lord Carg's way. Okay. Right, I'll be getting back then. Yes, I'll get back to my walk. Okay, I'll come along with you then, Lord Carg. Hey, don't call me that. I feel so awkward when you're that formal. Hey! Ha ha ha. But, I really don't mind, you know. I'll call you Lord Cargo if you like. Hehehe. <laughs> Just because I'm the son of the old royal family. 
The people of Yubal treat me with great care and respect. It's not that I don't appreciate it. The least you can do is treat me normally. Hmm. Okay then, card. Right, let's get going. I can't stop looking at the at the mole on her chest. Hello, Arcot. How are you doing today? Having the young ones clean up the old tanks. Kids today sure have a lot to learn. Hey, aren't you done yet? Lord Cog's here, you know. Ah, Lord Cog! Oh no! I'm not good in high places, you know. Man, don't worry. I'll get you into high places. Are you preparing to go to the scrap plateau? Yes. Oh no. Alright. We're back. I don't know what crashed it, but you know, whatever. Once you leave town, chances are oh, wait a second. Once you leave town, the chances are you won't encounter monsters. I already forgot his voice. Make sure you're prepared. Oh, I've prepared. <laughs> Item or spirit stones? What are spirit stones? I don't have very many of those. I don't know what they are, but I'll purchase ten. I'll take ten, sir. Healing herb, good herb. Mint cure sleep. Mm, I don't know about that. Do I have any herbs? No, I ain't got no herbs. Let's get. Five herbs. Please come again. Alright. Talk to that guy. Let's go to the equipment shop. See what's up. Hello, what's up? Lord Cog, have you come to buy weapon parts? Don't really know how the weapon parts system work. So I studied this chart. I think I've got a hang of it now. Would you like me to explain? Sure, why not? If you ever fought in a battle before, you know how important it is to have a weapon that suits you. People become attached to their weapons, and they don't want to part with the weapon they've grown accustomed to. So there are many people who can master all different types of weapons out there. So buying new weapons is a good option for... And very few people do it. But, if, but everyone wants to power up their favorite weapon. That's where weapon parts come in. Attaching weapon parts to your weapon can produce various results. For example, if you equip gunpowder to your... If you equipped your sword with gunpowder, attacking enemy would produce a fire elemental damage. In other words... You want to strengthen your weapons, then you will need weapon parts. Oh, oh, thanks, dude. Oh, I could have just went. Okay. Are you here for weapon parts? I don't have any money. What about accessories? Can't buy any of that shit any either. Well, I guess I'm out. Thank you. Come again. Okay. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. One second. Didn't just save state, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> My daughter goes on and on about how she's gonna marry you someday. She just won't listen to reason. If you see her, please, not, please try not to take her too seriously. Is she right here? Lord Cog, my mom is so mean to me. She says no matter how pretty I grow to be, I can't marry you. That's not true, is it? No, that's not true. Yay! Lord Cog, please wait till I grow up, okay? Why not right now? <laughs> Hi, Lord Cog. Can you ask Duncan if we could play in the castle ruins? Why? Well, at least someone's been stealing food from the town. We think robbers in the wild. Funky monster from the chaos forest. There are some people who say they've seen the wild monkey running away with the food. He has a really scary green face. So to keep the monster away, Duncan has a lot of castle guys. But we used to play there all the time. You know, Duncan will listen to you. Please ask him for us. Okay. I knew it. You're the best, Lord Kark. Oh my, hello. How are you getting along, Lord Card? Makes me so happy to see the tired Defense Corps member recover their energy thanks to my special healing abilities. How about you, Lord Card? But I'd have to ask for some money as a donation. <laughs> Do you want to get healed? A donation of 10 Gs. Never mind, I don't need to be healed. Maybe next time. It's nothing like drinking a few pin uh, pints on your day off. Oh, Lord Card, I forgot you can't drink yet. Oi! Why can't I drink? I can't let you have any alcohol. You're too young. Oh, you didn't come here to drink? Well, I'm sorry. How silly of me. Jerk. Ooh, what's this? 
Save progress? Yes. Do not remove memory card. <laughs> I will not. Save complete. There's a green door. What's in the green door? Hello, sir. Sorry, but please don't talk to me right now. If I can just remember the hiding place. I've almost got it. Um, Hiding place of what? I'm sure it was the sea? No, no. I feel like it was a lake. Maybe a river? I think I nearly got it. Alright, if we see a sea or a river, we should check that. That guy's missing something. What do you want? Commander Lloyd said that your swordsmanship gets better each day. I can't wait to the day when I get to fight by your side. Lord Carr, can you please accompany me to the, to the scrap plateau? Yes, that's where I'm going. I'm waiting to see my buddies return from Plum Canyon. We're going to have a few drinks together. Yeah! What do you want? What are you doing? Ah, Lord Carr, what brings you here to the Defense Corps office? Do you have any questions for me? Castle Ruins. Well, beyond the Castle Ruins is Chaos Forest. They say it's a wild monkey monster. We've been getting reports that this monster's coming to town and stealing food. And apparently, it has a green face. It is quite wily. So, in the interest of safety, I prefer that no one go in or out of the castle ruins. Okay. These kids are going to be heartbroken. They're going to cry. And I'm going to laugh. You're leaving town? Please be very careful. You may come across monsters. Alright, first I want to see if there's any more places I can go to. What do you look for? Hello there, Cog. How nice of you to drop by and talk to me. So what can I do for you? What's outside town? Outside, it's treacherous. For example, the gar... gar... in it. Those hills, or the scrap plateau. Just thinking about what sorts of monsters lurk in those places makes me lose my nerve and want to come back to town. Okay. What's up? Look, Hog! Badger's supposed to open the refinery today, but he hasn't shown up yet. Well, I guess he's taking his sweet old time as usual. If you happen to see Banjo, could you tell him to come here right away? Okay. Well, this country's been prospering lately, so I can understand why he wants to see all the shops in town. I don't think I've actually seen him. Let's go across this bridge here. Hello, old man. Oh, Lord Cock! Nice to see you! Ask about my mother. You may not believe this, but your mother was a great fighter in her younger days. Anyone dared to invade our country, she would stop their attack cold and drive them out. Everyone talked about the Lady Warrior from N Nidelia. I'll tell you anything you want to know, the fish aren't fighting today. Ask me, what about the World Alliance? Through the cooperation of its member nations, the World Alliance has promoted peace and safety. Sorry, you went a little German there. I can't believe headquarters are in uh, things so far. How long are we? Don't have to fight them. Is what what it really is. Hey, little kid, what's up? Oh, that's a girl. Lord Carr, I saw it. I saw it. The green-faced monster running from the castle ruins. It must be a wild monkey. It was swinging from tree to tree. Oh, Lord Carr, listen to this. Someone broke into my home and robbed me. What did the thief take? Food from the kitchen. All of the apples and bananas were stolen. No. You build so perfect, or so peaceful. I decided to get married during this peaceful time. That's really nothing for you to worry about, Lord Cog. Ha 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 ha. Oh, no, that's not the right guy. It's middle aged man. I already, I already talked. No, I didn't talk to you this time. That's right. I had to restart the game. All right, this way. What could be in here? It's a guy. Hello, Larkog. I'm off today, so I thought I'd take it easy at home. But to tell you the truth, my wife and mother are constantly arguing. I can't get any rest. Don't worry, as a defense corps member, I'm always ready to be called out to duty. Oh, Larkog, welcome to my home. Would you mind going up? Seeing my mother, you mean a great deal to her. Is she dead? I can't believe my daughter keeps me cooped up in here all the time. Talk to her. 
Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> Promise I won't do that voice very often. Alright. Uh, I should probably tell this kid that he's out of luck. Sorry, bro. I asked him. Why do you say we couldn't? You couldn't even convince him? Yeah. Get wrecked. Moving on. Go outside. Alright. We can go... Not to there. That looks important, though. Let's go to the Scrap Plateau. What could be here? Enter the Scrap Plateau? I guess. I mean, I'm supposed to be here. This place is quite scrap. Oh, shit! This old man, he's... Get away from me! Go! Oh. Kung Fu rabbits. That hurts! Where did you all spring up from? Oh no, someone help me! Reasonable little monsters. Oh no! My gloves smell funny. What should we do, Card? There are so many of those little squirrels. We find them. Can't step by and let them get killed. We've gotta help them. We'll take care of this. Go and hide somewhere safe. I don't know who you are, but thank you. And I get to pick who I want to take with me. But, you know what we're going to do? We're going to find out what happens, how you fight in this game. Next episode. So, that was the up to the first fight of uh, Ark the Lad. What the fuck is this game? <laughs> Ark the Lad something something something. Thank you for watching.